Beauty friends, welcome back again. So happy you popped over again to see what I am up to today. For everyone who is new here, welcome. My name is Yanni and I hope you enjoy what you see. And if you do, I hope you take a little bit of inspiration with you. For everyone here who is not subscribed to my channel, of course, I hope you will click the red subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and of course hit the bell so you will be notified every time I upload new DIYs. Like I always say, enough talking and let's jump into today's inspiration. And yes, you see already, I have everything on the table, what I need for a new DIY. What we're going to need is, of course, our thumbnail towel blocks, the smaller blocks, and of course, my container with everything inside, some markers, brushes, uh, scissors, some uh, mud parts, some twine, and of course, the wood glue. What will we do without them? Of course, you can use some hot glue, but uh, also with this DIY, uh, I don't recommend the hot glue. Of course, maybe you have hot glue with some wood glue inside then it's also fine too of course but be careful that you uh, with using the hot glue because it can break very easy we have some paint and this is only an example just use some paint at your choice uh, I have here my old saucer with an old piece of kitchen towel to wipe away the glue and these are a little bit of the main pieces we need for this DIY but we're going to make a ladder with some crates uh, we will see how this will turn out I always say make sure that you always have four until five packages of thumbnail towel blocks laying around and then you have always enough for every DIY I call them thumbnail towel blocks but they're also Jenga blocks it doesn't matter and which one it doesn't matter also so so again, let's start this DIY. So you see already on the table are four rows of nine blocks and they are barely uh, fitting on my table. So it is a little bit improvising, but improvise, improvise, improvise if I, I hope I say it right. We call it improviseren. So in Dutch it's a little bit different. So we do on the tops, we do some glue, we place them in between and we row them together. Very easy, just place them this way and on the tops you do some glue so you have four rows of nine and you place them in one straight line and it is a little bit a task because my mat is not that uh, great it's maybe you have a bigger one then it's easier to do and number nine is of course the closure up you're going to work from the inside to the outside and row them easily to each other and this way and the last and then squeeze it from the end and this way and make sure that you have a nice straight line and feel with your fingers if you have an, a carpenter's square it's also fine but I always do it this way and again give it some pressure afterwards and now we're going to do again row number two we're going to place it over here and we do some glue on this one and very carefully just take your time for it because this is important that this is really fitting nicely because this will be the sides of the letters because we are going to make already now two and then we're going to build further from that so and we're going to place this one also over here and we're going to squeeze it and we're going to do this one and this one and number nine and then we're carefully going to squeeze it together and we wipe away the glue this way and then we're going to feel again with our fingers that we have a nice straight line because that's what you want and again some pressure i do the other two a little faster So we placed our four pieces which will be the sides of our letters. Of course, we place them aside to let them dry. Now I have six rows of three. So six rows of three blocks. And we're going to do the same. We're going to glue them on the tops and we're going to place them together. It's very easy to, of course, you can make letters in so many ways. I already made a couple of them uh, here on this channel. And of course on um, my other channel Deco Easy. So you can find a lot of uh, inspiration also on the channel over here and on the other channel. So if you want to 
make more letters, then you can find them also there. And if you love more benches, you can find them over there. So I'm going to glue and I'm going to squeeze. Oop, you see what I'm already attached to my blocks. Squeeze it and squeeze and this one and this one. And you're going to wipe away the glue you don't need from the top. And this way, and then you're going to give it a couple of minutes dry. In the meantime, while well, this six of three are drying, we're going to get uh, one of two. And again, one of two. Another one. And this one. Now we're going to glue the longest line of the block and we place them together this way. We place the longest line and we're going to squeeze it. We do here the same. And here the same. And you're going to squeeze it. And make sure that you have a nice straight line. And here the same. And here. And here, and now we're going to wipe away the glue because there's a little bit coming out and that's not what we like. And now we're going to make sure that we have a straight line again. Feel with your fingers. And we're going to give it a couple of minutes rest. So I gave all the pieces of the ladder at least a 20-25 minutes drying at least. What I'm going to do, I'm place the two bigger ones, one on the side, one on the side. And we have now our three pieces of three. What we're going to do, I'm going to uh, have for mine decided where I want to have my sides. Because you can place them, you can shorter with each other, you can go start under here, you can start anywhere you like. I uh, chose for myself, I do it uh, in one and a half from the underside, one and a half from the top side. And then you leave five full blocks are open and here I'm going to do one in the middle because I want to have spaces in between to decorate. So we are going to do some glue on this side and this side. And we're going to place it one and a half. Of course, we place this one a little further. We do this one also on this side and on this side. And we place it in between one, two, three, and then in the half. And we do here the same on this side, on this side. And for the stairs, uh, the steps from your ladder, be sure that you have them. Um, um, I don't know what I want. <laughs> I don't know what I want to say. Make sure that the steps in between are having the same size. So this and this one. Keep them together. Look for if they uh, the blocks are the same measurement, because especially or else you don't get it glued together. I had one of them was not the right side. The block was one block was a little bigger, and then you never get it together. So don't do the mistake like I did. So we have them like I told you, one and a half here, one and a half here, and then you get get five blocks, full blocks in between. One, two three, four, and this is five, and you place them in between in the half. And now we're going to fill it up with this one, also over here and here, and then you're going to squeeze it, and this way. And what you're going to do, you can use, I have here an old piece which I didn't use for a DOI. I place this on this side, fill it up with one block, and then I can see if I have it in and you see, I must go down a little piece because, or else it does not fit together. And now I'm going to work my way up with the stairs and then I'm going to squeeze it again. And then I'm going to look for if I have it still in a straight line. And I still need to go down a little with my piece. And then we're going to squeeze it and squeeze it. Because you want to have that your underside is straight because you have to place them on a stance later. So again, we're going to squeeze it in and then we're going to look again. And now I have it in a straight line if everything is correctly. 
so i'm going to place this aside and now we're going to let this dry in i do the second letter a little faster so it doesn't bore you so and if you have little pieces of glue coming out just get a small brush make it wet and go carefully in between the little openings and make sure that you wipe away the glue because you don't want pieces of glue sticking out on your leather later so just go in the corners and make sure that you turn it a couple of the times and then your glue is gone so we're going to give it some rest at least also 25 minutes so the leather is dried in he's not totally dry yet so uh, if you want to be sure that this is really dry then you have to wait uh, at least an hour longer i'm going to get the feet of my uh, a leather and i'm going to feel which uh, top side is flat because sometimes one is um, more flat than the other one this one is this one is better so i'm going to place them over here what i'm going to do i'm going to place this one next to me of course i would have showed you you can see it a little bit i see already i'm doing some glue on the other side and over here and we are going to place this one on top of course first one in the middle and then we're going to place this one also in the middle and then it's just a little bit of um yeah you're just going to work with it take your time for it and you also can before you're going to glue it you can take a pencil and make sure where you want to have them but with boot glue it's sometimes a little difficult to place them where you want them of course i have here now my old piece which i don't use i glue this one, glue this one i place this one together this way and i'm going to look for if i have them and you see already i have them on the same length so i'm sitting correctly so this can go away and now we're going to let it dry and we're going to get our smaller brush and we're going to wipe away the glue we don't need and then you also can see a little bit better where you placed your feet of your leather and it's always better than maybe you can still redo it because that's the greatest about wood glue you still can redo it until it is settled in so again give it some pressure and let it dry so in the meantime while our two letters of course you see it over here are drying if everything is correctly you have two of this kind of letters of course i did them like i told you in one block uh, size but you also can double them up if you want to have a little bit uh, more strength to your letter i'm going to keep it with one but of course you can change it up any way you like the next step will be the shelves in between uh, shelves where you can place some boxes on or something else i have five uh, four rows of five blocks so one two three four five and we do this four times so we do some glue on the top and don't worry i only do one together with you of the shelf so don't worry that i will do all three of them <laughs> because i won't so this is already number four and five is of course always the closure up and the greatest thing about this kind of uh, little pieces you can place them because i keep them with five blocks but you can go as wide as you like because i do this for a small space but if you want to have it a bigger one then make it um, longer but then i really recommend make your leather double-sided because or else it is a little bit too um yeah i think vulnerable because you uh one block is not really that uh, sturdy so i would go then for doubling up the blocks before you make your leather so and again number four and number five and we're going to squeeze it make sure that we have a nice straight line and we do here the same squeeze it feel with your fingers that you have it nicely next to each other this way we do here the same and again squeeze it and the last and we're going to give this four pieces of five some rest that so they can dry in of course i'm going to wipe away the glue but 
that's already something you already know <laughs> that's just a kind of a drill you every time glue it together and wipe away the glue so we're going to give this at least um now i think five until six minutes so in the meantime while our four pieces of four are drying i'm going to do two pieces of of two rows of three so again do some glue on the top over here place them together you do here also one and this one and we're going to squeeze them also together until one piece and we're going to wipe away the glue here also and we're going to let this rest also for a couple of minutes so now we have our two pieces of three and our four uh, four pieces of four rows of five we're going to take one of five we're going to take one loose block we're going to do some glue on this side and this side Place it in the middle, in between the first and the second. And this one we will place over here in the number four or five or one or two, just which one you count. And you're going to place this one against here, make a loose block so you can measure out where it needs to be. And then you're going to squeeze it together. And this way. And we press it down and we're going to wipe away the glue this way and every time look with your block if you still have the measurement you need we do here the same we get a loose block and do glue on both sides we're going to place it in between the first and the of the first and the second and also here for the fourth of the fifth but of course if you count it from this side is in between the one and the two and we're going to place it again here make sure that you have a loose block again and place it together squeeze it and you're going to wipe away the glue from the top this way and now you're going to give it a couple of minutes rest. So now we have our two pieces of this one. We're going to get one of three. And we're going to do some glue along the smallest line of the block. Place it against this one. In the direction this way. We're going to do the other one of three. And you do some glue over here on the smallest line. And we're going to place this one on this side. And you're going to carefully squeeze it together until one piece. And we're going to wipe away the glue. Do it carefully because it's still not totally dry yet. Now what we're going to do, we're going to get some loose block. And we're going to glue this one on two sides. And now we're going to, I have to look for, because I already made one, so I don't tell it you in the wrong, <laughs> the wrong way. We are going to glue one over here. So I figured it out, of course, now you're going to, you did the two of three, you do a loose one on this side, over here. And you do a loose block on this side, so on, over here, and you can place it together this way now you're going to go carefully place this one on the side and you do only on this block you do a little bit of glue so only on this block so you see and we place it down again and now we can if everything is correctly you can fill everything with each other so lightly give it some pressure and if everything is correct you have one piece and it will be your shelf and of course you can change it up any way you like you don't have to do it the way i have you can change it up and you can make the pattern different so i'm going to wipe away the glue and i'm going to give it at least now i think 20 minutes rest i already got i did one and i'm going to make the other one also and then we have three shelves so you see already we have our three shelves and mine turned out this way. What we're going to do is a little tricky because I want to be sure that my shelves are staying inside of the ladder. So I have to lock them up. What I'm going to do 
at least that's my approach. You don't have to do the same. I'm going to take three blocks like this. I have on this side I'm going to do it and on this side because here are four blocks and here are four blocks. I want to give one of the blocks, I'm going to do some glue on the underside, on the smallest one. I'm going to place them in the middle over here, this way, and I keep over a little space, not too much. And I'm going to let it dry in for a little more. So I let, uh, did let dry in this one a little more. I showed you a little closer. You see, now he has one block on the side. He's over here. And I left over a little small piece on this side. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get a loose block and place it with the widest uh, uh, space over here. Place it down. And I do it a little piece of the, this block. Then I'm going to get my other loose block this way and I'm going to place it next to the one which is flat and I'm going to place this one also a little space out of the other one so this the middle piece is um, a lying uh, loose so you can move it around so again and these two are same on the same direction of course you have to get your block and make sure that you have them in a straight line and again also on this side and we're going to let it rest for at least um, I think 10 minutes you see this is how he is looking like it's just a space where your letter is uh, falling into here so you see now I have my first one and I gave it a couple of minutes drying now I'm going to turn it over I'm going to do a loose block again do some glue and we're going to place it also at the ending in the middle of the four pieces. And I leave over, I think, a little piece like this. I think maybe uh, two until three millimeters. So it's only a little piece what you leave open on this side. And then you're going to make sure that he's straight. You're going to wipe away the glue with your brush. Of course, also on this side. And now we're going to get a loose block. We're going to place this loose uh, four in front of the ear. And also we leave a little space uh, in between. And we do now some glue over here. And we're going to place this also not against the block which is laying down. We're just going to place it a little over here. And I'm going to squeeze real hard. And I'm going to get my other block to make sure that I have it in a straight line, all of them. And now I'm going to press it down. I'm going to get away the glue on both sides. And I have to be sure that I have it straight. So, and if everything is correctly, you have, you see, you have here one loose block and you still have some space in between. You can see I have space in between for the uh, sides of the leather to fall in because you never get it or, or else fitting inside of each other. So we're going to let them dry. I'm going to do the other uh, two also and then we're going, I'm almost ready to paint it. But first, before we're going to paint it, we're going to give it a little bit of uh, accessory, you call it. We call it accessoire erbij. So we will see. So now we have our two letters. We have our three shells. And of course, what we're going to do now, two rows of seven blocks. So two rows of seven, because I want to give a little bit of extra to the letter. So you can decorate it a little bit better. So we're going to do this one and we're going to go for number five and number six and number seven is of course the closure up and we do the last row and this is one and two but of course you don't have to do this one if you don't like it it's also fine too it's just up to you and I'm going to do the last number six and we're going to squeeze it from within and we're going to go here and number seven and we're going to squeeze it and don't um, panic if it the blows up because this often happens 
because sometimes blocks are crooked and they will pop out. So it doesn't matter. To, uh, until now, I didn't have it today, but I had it so many times. So don't worry about it. Just glue seven blocks in one row together. And we're going to feel with our fingers if everything is nicely in a straight line. And we're going to give this at least 10 minutes. So now we're going to place one of them straight up. And you see we have six little connection points with the blocks. We do here the same. We do some glue on this side and on this side. And we place them on each connection point. Over here. And over here. And this is everything is correct. You have six, six of them. So you need also six loose blocks. And I think it gives a little more touch to your decor if you're going to decorate it. But of course, you don't have to do it. And the last. And he will be over here. So and you're going to place this one straight up. Make sure that you have this one also in the place you want to have before you're going to squeeze it this has to come down and this one has to come a little higher and then gently give it some pressure because everything is not totally dry yet so always do it gentle and then make sure that you have your piece and I think I need two blocks or else I can't see if I have it straight measure it out And you see already, if I'm looking correctly, I have to go a little up. And this way, I think a little bit more. And now I'm going to make sure that everything is also nicely fitting. This has to go down, this has to go down. And it is a little bit of a task, but... Adventure is a small little ladder and you can place it against yourself, but you see that in a moment. So if everything is correctly, you have now two of the ladders like this. You have two pieces. You have three of the little shells with the understudies on here like this. You have three of them. And of course you have one decorative little small ladder. I'm going to paint mine in the creamy color. Maybe I'm going to do the smaller uh, ladder in a different color. I have to look for but everything else will be in the creamy white color. Because I love the creamy white. And it is uh, especially because a lot of you can see it much better on camera. When I use a lighter colors and not everyone enjoying the Uh, darker colors sometimes i paint later i paint things over but of course for you i will do most of the time in the creamy color but if you more like a glam girl and you like gold silver just spray paint it in the color you like because you will see how much everything is changing and this is like i told you especially also a little uh, three-way um, piece for the smaller space in your home So I'm going to take my time and I'm going to paint this. And you see already everything is painted on the table. And right now you see a quick impression of my version of how I decorated my three shells. Of course, because it is so easy. You just get your two, two letters. You just place your shelf in between and place them on the steps of your letter. And so you build your three layers down. It is so easy to do. And the decorative leather is of course optional you don't have to do it so in a moment like right now you see my impression and here you see already a quick impression of my tumbling tall blocks three shelf letters and i'm so happy how this one turned out of course i use it for decoration but you can also use it for organization i hope you give this one a try and everyone who is new here i hope you enjoy what you saw and if you do i hope you will click the red subscribe button give me a thumbs up and hit the bell so you will be notified every time i upload new diys for more diys come on over to my description box there you find the link for our diy channels and everyone who is here already for a long time thank you so much for being here and spending a little moment of your day together with me everyone have an amazing day and i hope to see you in the next one bye